Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Fix It With FC. Today I had a viewer request on how to make the Carpenter B traps that I had in my short video. Now, there are plenty of them out here uh, in YouTube, but I'll just show you the way I do it and what you'll need to start with. To start with, you need a 4x4, four four, okay? Now, I've heard people say that the Carpenter Bees do not like treated wood. I did not find that to be true. It works with treated or untreated wood. So you need that, okay? And we're gonna cut that in four inch lengths. You need yourself a jar, jam jar, pickle jar, whatever. You need two spade bits, a half and a three quarters, something to measure with and a pencil couple of screws and really that's all it is to it now first we're going to get down to drawing a line and cutting the wood and then I'll show you now the theory behind this is that th these uh, carpenter bees like these little holes that's why they actually make the holes into uh, your fascia board and they lay their eggs and then the eggs hatch so basically what you want to do is you're tricking them to go into the holes that we're going to drill on on all four sides they're going to go to the center of it they're going to look down and they're going to see an open space down where the jar is so they'll make their way down there and then they'll be trapped and die now they are pollinators and you know you could think that you're maybe doing the right or the wrong thing but they're really tearing the fascia board out of most people's house or or garages or porches or stuff so it has to be stopped okay so let's get started the first thing we do is we've measured four inches four inches and four inches we're just going to make a quick line i'm going to use my circular saw you can use a chop saw, which would make it a lot easier. And I'm going to make two or three of these at the same time, but I'm going to show you principally one. This is very easy to make, and it will control your, uh, your bee population, your carpenter bee population to a point. Okay, let's get started. Please consider subscribing, hit the bell icon, and please give me a like. It goes a long way to supporting the channel. Okay, we've got to find the center, and that's all done. Now, as I said, we need two spade bits, okay? The center one only goes down two-thirds of the way. So that one is your first hole. And then all the subsequent holes that we want the carpenter B to go in will be a half inch.
Hello folks, what I'm going to do now is show you a little tips and tricks on how you can increase how many of these carpenter bees you catch. I make a little sugar water and I stir it up. I have a little cotton pad here and I dip it in. And I put it on the bottom here. Now the next thing I do is I take it and I just put a little bit of taste of this right in here to get them to come down. And that should do it. I put right back here and you're all ready to go.